Hey guys, this is Beth from Dainty Daisies Merchandise. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I am a part-time reseller of mostly jewelry, of mostly Goodwill Blue Boxes. And in today's video, we're gonna do another Goodwill Blue Box unboxing. Um, this one is from Lake Worth, Florida. So we're gonna go ahead and open this. I just pulled this off of my front porch um, and you guys know I told you guys in my last video I will be on vacation this coming up week but I will still post a video it just might take me a little bit longer to uh, to respond and of course if you order anything um, know that it'll be a little bit of a delay because I will not be at home but um, I'm excited to go ahead and do two videos I'm gonna post for next week but I got to make it for this week since I won't have any of my supplies all right, okay guys, let's see. All right, looks like we have a lot of costume and some bangles, lots of color, maybe some handmade stuff. So we're gonna jump right in here. Let's see, you guys are probably gonna hear me <laughs> talking to my little daughter. She got a big girl bed. I'm starting my little presidium over here. She got a big girl bed though, that my husband built for her, a little Montessori bed, it's a house bed. Um, and she loves to get out of it. So I'm like, I might have to tell her to lay down during this video, so excuse me. But she woke up my, my littlest baby the other night at like 10 o'clock, just like turned on the light. She's been waking us up at like 5 a.m. in the morning, so it's been really funny. But she absolutely loves her bed, so. Shout out to my husband. Thanks for being an awesome daddy and building her bed for her. So I'm just pulling a couple things out. So I'm also going to do a video on my results from Dr. Lori because I know I told you guys I was going to do a, a video on her, on my um, on my finds from this, this past week. So it was good. It was a good video. It was good talking to her. So I will let you guys know when that's up. All right, we got some writing here this is a cute bangle it looks like it's a catch chain but it looks like it's broken so i'm sure i could fix that fairly easily just something's going on with the okay so so a little little snug there on that on that closure closure what's this say whiting and davis mesh bags hmm. never heard of that um this is really cute though, really, really cute. I love the design on there with the little like, I'm sure fake turquoise or I don't know what that's supposed to be emulating. I'm sure turquoise, but um, hold on. Here she goes. Lay down, Maggie, go to sleep. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of research on that and let you guys know. Um, if you guys are new to this channel, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you can hit that subscribe button, you know, I would love to be doing this full time, so. More subscribers I can get, more views, all that fun YouTube talk. And of course, please leave me a comment if you guys see something that I'm missing or you guys are just always so good at these comments. I just, you guys have no idea how much I appreciate it. I absolutely love that you guys leave me comments and help me out identifying stuff and just, just learning stuff because I am new at this. I've only been doing this for I think six or seven months now. So I'm still, I'm still learning so much, so much to learn. But this is really cute. Kind of looks like tiger's eye to me on these beads right here. Very tiger's eye-ish, this shine to it. Uh, I don't know, this kind of maybe looks like tiger's eye behind here as well. It looks like it's Avon, it's got the NR marking. Uh, so, well, it's a good shape though, it's pretty. Pretty necklace with the little dangles down here too. So we'll put it in the possibly cute pile that over there too now we've got a wire wrap bracelet with one cent so Elizabeth the second I'm guessing this is like English English penny or something or five cent um, here we go again Margaret lay down if you get up again you have to go to the baby crib but this is really good condition, so I might try and sell this. You know, some people like the memorabilia stuff with the with the queen on there, so 
I'll put it to the side. And this is a nice rosary. Thank you to all my new subscribers as well, but you guys have I've had a couple new subscribers, so thank you guys for subscribing. I appreciate the support. All right, here we go. Let's see. Got a little tangle. It looks like these beads, I'm not sure if they're supposed to be like a different color, and then this is just worn off, so I'm not quite sure. See, it's kind of like, it looks like it's just like worn off, like it should have been fake pearls, and this is kind of tangled up a little bit, so I'm gonna put this in a lot. Um, and this looks like a little shell necklace. Yeah, just some little shells. Mm, barrel clasp here. Not seeing any, any writing on there, so I'm gonna put it to the side. I'll think about this one. It is in really good condition. It's really uh, it's made well. I like the cascading kind of shell. I think it's shell. Looks like shell to me. So I'll put it to the side. Lay down, Maggie. Oh, the joys of being a at home working parent, right? <laughs> this is more of a hobby, I feel like, than it is a job, though. I enjoy doing the jewelry. If I can get this sucker untangled, what's, what's going on here? Let's see. Hmm. All right, there we go. Looks like we got it. Figure that out. It's a little bit longer on one side than the other. This is nice though. Nice uh, little inlay over there. It's got a little bit of that uh, like green or blue. I'm sure I could clean that up though. It's a pretty nice looking necklace though. All costume, but still pretty. Still a pretty pendant. Large too. Pretty about the size of my palm. So over here into the navy pile. And don't feel, uh, you know, if you go to some of these boxes and you're not getting gold and diamonds, you know, still, you know, this stuff is sellable. All this costume jewelry is sellable. I sell mostly costume. My biggest seller is no name brand costume jewelry. So there is hope. So this looks like a really long faux, fake pearl uh, necklace. This would be really nice for crafting. Uh, so I might put it in a lot. I just, it's not something too spectacular to sell online. Still sellable, I just don't, you know, I'm a little bit pickier these days, so. A little cheetah print earring, I'm gonna put in a lot. This as well is gonna go in a lot. And this is gonna go in a lot. My plastic beads. Alrighty. I'm just gonna pull a couple things out here and we'll, we'll take a look at it. All right, so this is pretty. Really pretty, actually. It says these uh, jewels right here are really nice. Nice looking at least. I'm trying to see if there's any markings on this. Looks like a JM or something. Let's see. Let's take a look. I think my daughter's starting to cave a little bit. JM? Hmm. JM. The uh, clasp is nice. Oh, it's cute. So that's cool. So it slides in. Oh, well. Maybe slides this way and then clasp on there. That's that's really neat. So let's just test these little jewels. I think maybe glass. Mm. This is definitely a nice sellable piece though. Even if it's plastic. Let's just make sure. Okay. Just like to hit the metal sometimes to make sure we are uh, more function in here. It doesn't look like it's reading anything, but that's still a really pretty bracelet. Like, really pretty. Some of the stuff I like to keep for myself, but this is like a piece of costume jewelry that, which I'll do a little bit more research, but I'm thinking it's just costume. That JM, though. So if you guys know a marking for JM, please leave me a comment. Uh, really nice. Really nice uh, metal here, too. So I like it. 
definitely, definitely a sellable piece. Very pretty. So this is also a really pretty bangle with this little like enamel, I think, uh, gold tone. Very nice, very nice little bangle. This sits really well. Yeah, I like this a lot. It's so hard not to keep some stuff. I'm hoarding so much jewelry. Um, some of my pricier items. I'm gonna keep that. Uh, just because, gosh, I love jewelry too. It's hard not to keep the jewelry. Uh, this just looks like a like a wire, you know, wrap bracelet. Maybe you got from the beach. I'd give it to my daughter so she could wear it at the beach. Uh, it's a little big, but she might could wear it if I could tighten it a little. But this is definitely also a sellable piece. Really nice, nice bracelet there. I didn't see any names on it. Another one of these. I think a uh, little tea clasp there. It's good looking though. I don't see any name on it, but these are probably like glass beads. Let's just test them. I have to keep the monitor going, so I'm stalking my daughter right now. <laughs> Okay, it's not glass. Some of this felt like, hmm, I wonder what that is then, not glass. Still nice though. Nice sellable piece on that one too. Really cute. Next is this little dainty gem. Looks like we got maybe some writing on here. It's pretty, little jewels, very, uh, very dainty, fragile it feels. 12014 120th-14. So is this like 120th 14 karat? Super dainty. The different color stones here or glass beads. I don't know. It doesn't feel like cold to the touch or anything. So it's just getting a whole lot of nothing. And I appreciated uh, IC's comment on a couple of video. I don't know if it was my last video or video before. She was, um, they were saying, oh, see, it's reading kind of glass. That's what I was thinking, glass. Uh, they said that this can be really sensitive. And I thought I was going crazy because I'm like, why is it bounce all over the place? But it is the air. I really think it's the air. So I appreciate y'all's comments, even for like things like that, It you know, Helps me out, you know, so you guys learn something before I do, please help me. I like that though. We'll keep that one. We'll see how, how we do on that. All right. Sure. This is some big pearls just by the clasp at least. It kind of, I don't know. It just doesn't look that great. Let's see. Yeah. These are fake. It's kind of, um, wearing a little bit on there too. You see like the ridges and whatnot. I was playing with Play-Doh with my kids guys. So if you see my nails aren't dirty, I swear. Um, but yeah, you can see the wear on those, on those pearls. So I'm probably gonna put in a lot. <clears throat> It'd be a nice crafting piece. Ooh, this is very tore up too. The color discoloration and markings on there. The inside's really tore up too, if you can see it. I'm gonna put that in a lot. On to the next. Alrighty. Up next is this thing. Two of these necklaces now with the multi strands and then plastic. Uh, probably gonna put this one a lot too. It's not a bad necklace. It doesn't look bad or anything, but it just takes up a lot of space. I'm not gonna be able to sell it for much. Probably like seven, five to seven dollars I would sell this for. So. Still money, so if I, you know, if I don't find anything spectacular in the box, or I feel like I'm not making my money back, I will go back through the box and see, you know, my cheaper pieces. I'll still, I'll pull those out and try and sell them. So this is another T class, kind of chunky heart, gold tone bracelet. Uh, I don't have my magnet. I'm sure would have had it, but it might be plated or something. So I'm gonna keep it. It's in good shape. It's got the hearts, you know. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that one. It's 
making sure we don't have any markings on here. Mm, I'll put it to the side. You never know with, uh, with earrings. I think that's a plastic bead from the feel of it. Oh, world's best dad. I'll have to keep that for my husband. <laughs> he doesn't really wear jewelry, though. Okay, so we got a brooch here. Oh, it looks like we're missing some pearls and stuff, though. Would have been a nice little brooch, though. Let's just test these stones. I don't think they're anything, but let's test them. Yeah, plastic. You can kind of just tell. I'm starting to get a little bit better where I can kind of see the difference in the stones and whatnot. I can be like, oh, it doesn't look real to me, or what do you say? Hmm. I think it says Royal. Hmm, never heard of that one. I'm always learning about different brands, though. So, World's Best Dad. Uh, I'll put that to the side. We'll think about it. I'll think about that one. Oof. All right. I got a lot. A little earring here. Another one. Um, a little more detailed on this one. Very long dangle on it. So, eh. I'll put it to the side. I'll think about some of those earrings. Ooh. Like some gunk on it. Ugh. I'm gonna put that on a lot too. It feels like plastic. Oh, I thought I was like, what is this? All right, here we go. Hmm. What do you say? All right, let me put that down. It might help. Carol Lee. I think I had some of her in my last. Look like vintage. Just a little tore up on this one. I don't know. I mean, they're kind of, they're not bad looking. So, hmm, I'll put it aside. We'll think about it. Ooh. Ooh, this is pretty. And we got a tag on it, too. It's nice to have some tags sometimes. Put that to the side. This feels like stone now. Let's see. What are we working with here? Made in China, but semi precious accents. Cool. This feels cold to the touch, so very cold to the touch. Is this like, I don't know. Let's wish it had like a price on there, but I'm sure I could look this up really easily with the tag on there too. So I know the name brand then. A little heart. All right, let's test these stones. They're really nice looking. Okay, maybe aqua. Let's test these. I don't know about these ones. Well, I will do a little bit of research, but this is really pretty. Really pretty. Got the little t or hook clasp on there. It's got the tag too, so some people like the tag, you know, if they're gifting it to somebody. But this is a nice looking necklace. Ooh, it's so pretty. Look at that. I love these hues. This blue and this green is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. But already, definitely a keep on that one. Very pretty. Mm, it's kind of bent. Uh, I'm not opposed to this, though. It kind of looks like, like dyed coral or something. I don't think it is, but there's these like, little holes and stuff in it kind of remind me of it. I'll put it to the side. Think about it. All right, I have a... All right. Uh... Looks like a little twist back earring. I don't see any markings on it, so oh. put it in my little earring collection over here. This looks really stretched out. Big pearls. It just looks, it just needs to be like in the crafting. It needs to be crafted. So we're gonna put that in the in the lot. Well, this is cute. A little elephant. 
Elephant stuff seems to sell pretty well. Hong Kong, Hong Kong. Uh, a little tarnish though, a little bit tarnishing going on. I can't tell, I think maybe the legs on this is a little faded. It's very light. So, put that in the most likely lot pile, but I'll put it in the think pile. Think about it. Little ocean waves, bead a, beaded a bracelet here. Mm. I'm going to put it in a lot. This one feels kind of cold to the touch as well. Sometimes I can get like thrown off by like glass beads and, and stone. I feel like you can kind of, I feel like these might be glass though. I'm just not quite that ice cold that, you know, the precious stones or semi-precious stones have. In my opinion, at least it's kind of, Feels like glass, but maybe it's not. Not really anything, so it must be plastic. God, it feels really nice to me. And that cold. I'm reading nothing though, so must be some plastic. It's not a bad looking necklace, so it's almost a. It's close to a choker, but not quite. Not quite a choker. A little bit longer than a choker. Definitely sits like on the collarbone area. So I'm gonna put that in probably the keep pile just because it's in pretty good shape. It's a little bit unique to the those uh, beads on there. This is plastic beads, George. It's kind of worn out too. It's a little worn for me. Very light. Mm. Put in a lot. A little earring here. Mm. Put it in the lot pile. Got a little rose gold action going here. It's actually pretty nice looking at least. Like the Omega chain. I don't see any markings on this though. It's nice looking though. So I don't know if I want to keep this or not. It is in good shape. Just like maybe I put it on a pendant or something. I don't even get a class. There it goes. Does not want to clasp. There it is. All right. Another kind of choker style, in my opinion. Nope, no marking, just a little invention there. So mm, I'll think about it. Ooh, like shell, dyed shell here. All this metal though looks pretty nice. Mm, like a thick. Thick bracelet. It's heavy too. I might have to keep that one. Just a little different. I like the little unique uh, jewelry. It's got like the four beads on there throughout with the shells in between. So we'll keep it. Let's see how it goes. All right, here we go. All right, this looks pretty nice. No grit though. Gosh, that clasp. She looks nice, almost looks like stainless steel or something. No sterling markings though, I don't see any at least. This is a nice fake pearl though, let's see. A little mystery here, yum. Just trying to see if there's any like Ridges or anything like that look really awful. You know, that make the make the faux pearl look bad. But this really is a pretty good looking mm, little grit there. Let's try it again. Okay, yeah, definitely soft. I must have just been rubbing up against like the coating on there or something. But I do love these clasps that had the the pearl on top. My expensive pearls that I've gotten out of the Goodwill blue box, that's the one I did with Dr. Lori. Um, it had one just like that, and that's why I was like, ooh, got excited about the class because the class, the class book's really nice, but it's fake. It's not super straight when it lays. Well, I guess it's pretty, pretty decent there. It's pretty nice for a fake pearl necklace, so I might try and sell that one. Here it looks like another little shell. Or a plastic bead. 
necklace. So I'm going to put it in a lot. This is pretty. Pretty little birch. We got, is this Trapari? Nope. Something though. Avon. See, Avon has some nice stuff sometimes. Really pretty with the jewels on there with little pearls, faux pearls. That's really nice. Nice little brooch. So I'll keep that and try and sell it. Oh, another little shield ring again. Got that turquoise shield ring last time, so. Oh, that's a big boy though. My goodness. Like, I don't even know how you would use that. I got big fingers though, so. Eh. So that's a monster right there. It's in good condition though, so I might have to try and sell that just because it's kind of unique and different. Here comes the air, so bear with me if my needle starts jumping around. I'll be happy to be, I'm turning some of my closet in my new house into, uh, into my office, so I'll be so happy. I've got stuff all over the place right now. Some of it's in my laundry room, some of it's down here. I'm all over the place right now, so I'll be ecstatic to be in my new house. Just in a couple weeks, I cannot believe it. I'm ecstatic to, it's gonna be sad leaving this one, but I'll be happy. Move them to my new one with all my kids. This is kind of tangled up, so I'm probably gonna have to try and untangle this somehow. I don't know what the heck is going on here. Do I like, ah, okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, well, that, isn't that interesting? I don't know if that goes like in the front or in the back. Because that's a really pretty clasp. Don't see any markings, but that's a pretty cool design. I love when people get creative on their class and just trying to do something a little different. It's cool. All right, I'll put that in the think about it pile. So, pretty cool. Kind of looks like a bow to me. Ooh, pretty little snake here. I don't know what this is supposed to be, though. What is this, guys? Does it have, like, a... Was it supposed to... Did the brooch fall off or something? I don't know. I don't see any... Spots that look broken off on that. Hmm, interesting. I don't see any markings. Very pretty though, very sparkly. It's just Tessie's little stones on here. I'm sure we're going with nothing here, but yeah, nothing. It's still cute though. Cute little baby snake. Alrighty, on to the next. Why aren't you pretty little thing? A really nice uh, stone in there on that brooch. Let's ch test that one. My needle's not jumping right now, so let's... It's gonna be glass. Oops. Hmm. Not really reading anything. Might be glass. I'll probably have to check again when my wind's... When my wind, it feels like wind when my air conditioner turns off. Here we go. see any markings on it, but that's a really nice brooch again. Simple and elegant, but really nice. Nice looking. All right, we got like a stretch beach. This would also be a really good crafting bracelet. Links. Links London. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to look that up. Lynx London. I've never heard of that. That would definitely be good crafting. I'll put it to the side. I'll think about it. Definitely look it up. I guess I should do that at least. Ooh, these are pretty. Maybe I can find a match to this. This is pretty. Very nice. Oh, the joys of untangling jewelry. Um, somebody else gave me a tip on my last video, though, to rub 
uh, together with two fingers, um, a knot, so or a tangle of jewelry. So I'm gonna try it the next time. Looks like a little choker style, like hookah shell. These hookah shells, I don't know. Shell necklace, though. So. Lot she goes. This one's probably gonna go on a lot too. A little earring in there. Earrings love to hide in here. Oh, let's see. <laughs> go to sleep, Maggie. Lay down, Maggie. Maggie, lay down. All right, guys, sorry about that. Had to put her in the pack and play. She's just running around like a crazy person, so. Had to put her in the pack and play. She's not happy, but she's in there. Getting all these earrings out. All right, this looks like two plastic beaded necklaces. Uh, I'm gonna put both these in a lot. All right, let's look at these earrings that came out of here though. A ring it looks pretty tore up ring. Yeah, look at that a lot. Y'all, I just had a necklace that would match this so good. I actually have like the same design. I wonder if it's the exact same and it's an abalone. It looks the exact same from my last box. Check that out. Check out my last video and you'll see. It's for, it's wild. So I'm gonna put that to the side. We'll check that out. I kind of threw that down in excitement. <laughs> These are two plastic beads. I'm just gonna put these on a lot. Mm, looks like a bead to me. So I'm gonna put that on a lot. Uh, I'm gonna keep these. I'm gonna see if we find a match. And then this one kind of reminds me of like coral or something. Can you tell me, tell I've got the beach on my mind? Cannot wait to spend a week at the beach. Oh, so well deserved, guys. I'll put that to the side and see if we can find a match. This is pretty nice. Earrings. I had to keep these. Uh, it's, not, it's rare that I keep hoops. Oh, look at that. Is, these are nice though. These look really good. 925 Mexico. IS or TS. Yeah, these are really nice looking. These are really nice looking. So, And for them to be together is even better. Mexico. TS Mexico. So these are beautiful. You see all those for like ridges and beautiful. It's hard for me not to keep some of these, I'm telling you. So I'll put that to the side. Definitely keeping those. Pretty pretty. We got a lot of stuff at the bottom here. Working our way down, so this one as well. Let me just check it out. That one's gonna go to a lot. This little it's like broken. Mm, I'm gonna put that on a lot. Some kind of beads or glass or something, but eh. A lot piles pretty big this time, guys. No bueno. Um, I don't see any markings on these. Like three stack ring. Okay, there it is. Looks like 925. Oh, why did nothing fit my ring finger? <laughs> I want something to fit. So this is actually kind of cool, like rolls up and down. Um, somebody with like ADD would love this. It rolls up and down. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll keep that like rolling ring. Cool. I'll keep it. Hmm. Put that in a lot, most likely. This also looks like it'll be in a lot. This is pretty though. Looks like stainless steel to me. I don't see any markings, but yay, it fits. It looks good on me too. Let's just test it out. Looks like a pretty stone, but pretty fake. Still pretty though. Mama might have to keep this one for herself. So let's see. I'm kind of picking through the, the bottom here, see if we can find some stuff. gotten so many of these. It's gonna go in a lot. Little stretch bracelets. 
925 on there. Just an interesting earring. 925 on the class, though, so that's cool. I'll keep a lookout for the other one. Poor little honeybee. That's cute, little honeybee. I'll have to try and maybe sell that too. Or a little four leaf clover. I almost said four each. Four leaf clover. This looks like it has a marking on it. Avon. Pretty sure. Pretty sure that's an Avon. Yeah, it says Avon on the back of that too. So maybe find a match for that one too. It's a nice looking earring. Next is a no name, but it's it's a nice earring. Looks pretty nice. Don't look too bent up or anything, so I'll keep that one. This looks a little tarnished. Looks like the glue back there, so I'll put that in a lot. All these little guys you gotta really, really look out for because you'd be surprised some earrings can go for some money, so. Lot, lot, lot. I'm gonna lot this one up too, most likely, yes. Lot. I'm gonna look at this little stone or glass bead, one of the two. This looks a little tore up. Glass doesn't look too great. Let's Nothing. Pretty beads though. Kind of probably would lay on the collarbone again. Yeah, almost, maybe a little, yeah, lays on the collarbone. I don't know, what is a cool looking necklace? I might have to think about this one. Shh. My kids are wild today. I have to check on them. Gotta check on the babies. Sorry for all the clicking. AC, lay down and go to sleep. Ay, ay, ay. I'm gonna lot that too. Matches that other one. Sorry for all the interruptions today, guys. Lot, lot, lot. Hmm. See any markings on there? Up next is oh, this is cool. United States of America, nineteen hundred. One cent. Pretty little. Uh, little pendant there. It says one cent on this side though, so I'm like, is this? A real penny, or I can almost pop it out of there, but I don't want to. I'll look it up. We'll see. We shall see. A stretchy bracelet. Putting it in a lot. Oh. Hmm. It feels like like aluminum or something. So. Put it to the side. Oh, this is cool. Reminds me almost like a this leaves. It's pretty like romantic looking. Mm. These are earrings. And then this necklace, so I don't, a little magnetic. I'm probably gonna put all that in a lot. This is pretty too. It's got the little glue marks on there though, so I'm not really happy with that. Okay, so this side. Ooh, these are cold. 
All right, this is gonna go in a lot as well. It's a little fairy. Hmm. Put it to the side. Let's see. You feel super fake. Yeah. Who are you? Who are you? Where do you belong? like a long bow pearl necklace so a lot she goes oh y'all look at this looks like cloisonne oh that's pretty that's a pretty little butterfly ring right there gorgeous now this is very cold to the touch Or if it's like quartz or something, I don't know. Let's see. This looks like a marble or something. It's definitely something. Very nice. Very pretty. These are just plastic beads, but the stones themselves are very pretty. And it's definitely like a little unique of a necklace, too. It's a little like teardrop almost. Different shapes. Some natural rock shapes in there, too. So yeah, that's a that's a pretty sellable piece. Very pretty. Alrighty. Oh, this is nice. I've had so many mystery hairs today. Gross. Oh my gosh, it won't go away. Go away, hair. The enamel is really pretty on this side. This is a really nice brooch. Very pretty. So I'll try and keep that one. Oh, it's like a little shell, I think. Necklace, or necklace, earring. Plastic though, feels plastic to me. I'm probably gonna put it in a lot. I'm gonna put it in a lot as we speak. This is also gonna go in a lot. This is just a necklace and this is caught on there i don't see any markings on that one looks like a plastic bead a lot, lot, lot. this looks like a little suit like cuff or whatever it goes like in there right when i turn it i think hmm Looks nice though. Looks a little tarnished, maybe like sterling or something or silver. Oh my gosh. Go to sleep. Kids are driving me crazy today. I'm just kidding, they're not that bad. They've been worse. <laughs> little Tinkerbell. We have another really jazzy earring there. So this looks so like maybe it was a piece to a necklace or something. Hmm. Let you go. Yeah. Not about that one. A lot of earrings today. My goodness, some brooches. Tons of brooches. What's that say? Let's see. What do you say? Looks like it says. Oh. Uh, Maz, Omaz, O M A Z, Omaz. I don't know. Very beautiful though. Beautiful brooch. I like the colors in there. Really pretty. I'll keep it. Do a little bit of research. Hmm. Like, surely this doesn't go on there. Kind of looks like a ring, but almost looks like a spoon, too. I just had those spoon uh, rings a couple of boxes ago. Kind of looks like earring, though, doesn't it? I don't know. I'm going to put it in a lot. Coming down to the nitty gritty down here, guys.
Alrighty. John Riva. Don't have a matching pair though. Don't have a match for this one. So we got another. I've gotten a lot of these. I should keep all these. I need to match them up. <laughs> got a lot of those. Another stretch bracelet. Another faux pearl bracelet. Two earrings. No marking. This one looks tarnished. Alrighty. Lot, 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 lot. And then, last but not least, whatever this is. Mm, what are giddy? Five cents. Gaming token. Woohoo! <laughs> Yay, gaming token. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I think we found a lot of cool things this time. Nothing like too spectacular. These earrings are probably the coolest ones, coolest things. And then this little snake, I can't take it. It's so cute. Pretty little brooches, lots of, uh, well, not lots, but a couple of precious stones or some kind of stone. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button for me. Like, comment, help me out in any way you can. I'm here to learn. So thanks guys. See you next time.